Well, this story is a special one. Tonight's Changemaker is the woman behind a nonprofit that helps create lifelong memories for cancer patients and their loved ones. The founder of For Pete's Sake knows firsthand just how important a break like that can be. The mission of For Pete's Sake is a simple one. Give families of fighting cancer a break from dealing with the disease. What we do is we really remove them, you know, from the environment that they're in, you know, usually their home and they're confined to their home because of the illness. Um, and we put them in a very, very comfortable destination. Marcy Shankweller is a CEO of For Pete's Sake. She founded the organization after her late husband, Pete Vosso, was diagnosed with cancer in 1998. And their family and friends sent them on a respite vacation in the middle of his treatment. Why was a respite so important to you and Pete? We were so engrossed in what cancer was doing to our everyday life. And we had this chance just to step away. We really wanted to give that same opportunity to other families who were going to walk you know, our journey. Pete passed away in 1999. Marcy made it her mission to fulfill his wish that other cancer patients and their families have a chance to take a break from the disease like they did. She made a pivot from being a tax attorney to launch a nonprofit bearing his name. We send families away on respite, and unfortunately, some of the people we help don't survive. And for those families that are able to kind of carry on um, in the journey of their own lives, they always have that respite to hold on to. The pandemic has meant shifting to more staycations this year and only sending families to the nearby Woodlock resorts. For Pete's sake is also holding its first ever virtual experience March 25th. It's an hour long production that's really going to speak about our mission. The event will have musical acts and guest appearances that include stars like Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt. It will also pay tribute to the emotional impact cancer has on families and feature stories of overcoming adversity. I have been very, very fortunate because my first husband gave me a great gift. Yes, it was a traumatizing experience, but I walked away with the gift of recognizing how to live because you only get one chance at it. Well, for Pete's sake, has served more than 9,000 patients and their families since it began just over 20 years ago. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about For Pete's Sake and their upcoming virtual experience, head over to the website. It's listed right there on your screen. And if you want to tell me about a local change maker, hit me up on social media at Tamson Fidel. Would always love to hear from you. I got to tell you that one. That one touched me. You know, I lost yeah. my mother to, to breast cancer, but to hear uh, what her husband gave to her, which was to teach her how to live, yeah. that, that means everything, that's, that's right? Pretty, yeah, that's pretty special, and it's pretty cool what they're trying to do. Yeah.